Hello, and we are live, and I'm super excited to come to you guys today via my car because this topic um, I think is fantastic. And in, in fact, I set this topic quite a while ago, and um, I thought this is something that comes up quite a bit, you know. And I was in the same boat when I started my business. I did not have any money to invest. I thought how can I start a business if I have no money? Like it doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense. Right. And so when I saw this, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so perfect that, um, I knew I was going to be finished or I was, I had scheduled a lunch and I thought about changing the time of this live video. And then I realized, no, like what a perfect way to top to talk about this topic other than from my car, because it just goes to show you that a business like this, you can do from anywhere at any time. And the main thing that you need to invest in, I'll be very honest with you, the main thing is your phone. As long as you have a mobile phone, you can have a business. That's crazy. As long as you have a mobile phone these days, you can have a business. So that is so exciting to me. And I thought, what better use of, um, of this time? I could have driven home really quick and gotten all set up in, in my fancy little video area, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to shoot straight. And I want you guys to hear it from me that you don't have to be in a perfect, um, situation. You know, the first two years of this business, I actually worked directly from a couch that I got from my grandmother who had recently passed away sitting in a little tiny beach cottage. Um, and that was my office. I feet up on the, on the coffee table in front of me, sitting on that little couch that was falling apart and laptop on my lap. But that's back then you still needed like a computer. Usually now smartphones are so helpful and they're so advanced that literally, um, especially when I was nursing both of my boys, I did about 95% of my business on my smartphone. So that is probably your biggest investment, which most people already have because we see the value in, um, when Apple comes out with, with a new iPhone or whatever, whatever type of phone that you have, odds are it costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And odds are you spend a lot of money on upgrades, et cetera, and apps and all these other things, right? Because we see the value in that. And of course they do a fantastic job of marketing. They've already convinced us that that's, that's what things like this should cost. And we know the value in having that, the ability to take pictures at, at a moment's notice, vi um, videos, posts on social media, all of that stuff. We see the value in it. So what I want to talk to you today about, of course, can you can you honestly do this though if if this is really something that's hard for you if you're strapped for cash if you have no money to invest and you just need to know like can I even can I make this happen even if I have no money and I had that question too I'm trying to find a place to put my notes but that's not going to work so I'm just, just might have to glance down every now and again because I have like six pretty important things that I want to hit on for today the first thing I want you to do is I would like for you to get out a pen and paper if you don't have one um, or if you're driving or something, hopefully you're not watching us, maybe you're listening right now, um, but I want you to kind of evaluate yourself on a, a scale of one to 10 as far as where your personal level of satisfaction is in each of these areas. Now we used to say it's all about mind, body, spirit, right? As long as you have a balance of those three things, mind, body, spirit, then you're good to go. But I think it's more than that. I think it's deeper than that. In fact, I know it is because I've been to lots of different personal development seminars and business seminars over the years. And we're, we're trying to like figure out this whole thing about life balance, right? We're trying to figure out how to avoid stress. Honestly, at the end of everything, we just want to figure out how can I be happy? and be happy with the things that I'm doing and the way that I'm living my life. So how do you feel about your health? Like, how do you rate that on a scale of one to 10? Just pick the first number that comes to your head. Don't overthink this. How do you feel about your career, the things that you're doing on a daily basis, your career, your purpose? How do you feel about that on a scale of one to 10? How do you feel about your relationships? So I'm just going to lump relationships all into one. Um, but primarily initially what I, I, I I'm actually going to split it family. So your satisfaction, as far as your family goes, your satisfaction, as far as your friends go, and you can have like no friends. And if you're perfectly happy with that, then your satisfaction can be a, a 10, right? So it's a matter of what you personally perceive is this is my level of happiness right now. Um, what else? Fun, your level of fun your level of time freedom. 
how much control you feel like you have over your days and your calendar and your schedule. Thanks for coming on live, by the way. I really appreciate you. Those are just a few things that, that I can um, just say. I mean, we can list lots, right? There's lots of people who do like a list of seven. There's lots of people who do a list of 10. But what I'm saying for you is I just want you to think about like in terms of your overall general happiness, how do you feel on a scale of one to 10 in each of those areas? And if you are anywhere below a seven, I'd say, hey, there's room to improve, right? Um, other, other than that, you know, if you're like at a 10, then, then fabulous, right? We're all on this quest to be happier. And what I found through, you know, many years of different types of seminars and books and reading and personal development is it, it all comes down to these categories and how we feel about that. So it's interesting because we tend, whether we realize it or not, we are spending, um, not, yes, we're spending our money where we have laid our priorities. Okay. So now the way that you spend your money and, and your priorities, those might be out of whack. Okay. Because maybe you've just gotten a habit of doing something that isn't necessary in line with your priorities, or maybe you've forgotten about some other stuff that's not necessarily aligned with your priorities. But ultimately at the end of your day, like when every time you spend your money, you're basically making a little vote for or against yourself. And this is how I am prioritizing my life. Okay. Does that make sense? So if you are saying with your mouth, that your number one priority is your um, is your weight loss journey. That's what you're saying to yourself. That has got to be my number one because they're about to put me on diabetes medication and I'm gonna face X, Y, Z if I cannot get this under control. If I need to get this under control, yet you stop for Starbucks <laughs> four or five times a week, then that that's like, that that's, can you see where there's a conflict of interest? Don't get me wrong. I love me some Starbucks. I do. I totally do. So it's a matter of that. Or I've had people tell me before, like, oh, I just, Holly, I just, I can't afford to try that business. It's just, it's too much money. I barely have money to put food on the table every, every month or every week for my kids. And yet I'm seeing posts of them out drinking every single Friday and Saturday night. I'm like mixed messages. And in the moment you might feel like, oh, it's just five bucks. But every single time you do that, you're making a little vote to, to for yourself or against yourself. And what I'm asking you to do is just simply go, okay, if these are the areas that my, that I know I need to work on, and then here's the areas that I need to make a priority in my life, maybe your spirituality or um, whatever, you know, you know, you need to make a change in some way, shape or form, or maybe you're here, you know, watching this this live video right now because you know that you need to make extra money. You know you need to figure out you know how to save money. You know you need to get yourself out of debt. You know all those things, but how are you spending those dollars? Or, and are they making a tiny little vote for your priorities or are they simply taking away from what your priorities are? That's It's the same goes with time because like our most valuable things that we have, of course, money and time. And I believe that time is the most valuable, but you know, every single time you spend time at a girl's night instead of with your kids that haven't seen you for the last three nights, then that's making a tiny little vote. That's showing where your priorities lie. And you might be like, well, Holly, I can't let these people down. Well, this is my own opinion. My own opinion is there, you need to, you need to figure out who are the most important people in your life and who are the ones that you want to pour into. And that's one reason why I really started changing my mindset about how I um, spent my lunch hour and my lunch breaks, even though I loved what I did, and um, you know we didn't we didn't like have to clock in or out every day. We didn't have those those rules. I really started treating my lunch breaks as mine because legally they were mine. Even though I loved what I did, I didn't mind working through lunch. Um, those lunch breaks were mine, and I started asking myself, okay, like you know I love Brett and Shaleen, and although I love helping them to create their retirement plan. I need to create my retirement plan. If you're like, well, who's Brett and Shalene? Shalene Johnson, I used to work for them. That's a, that's just a snippet, okay? So I loved what I did. I had no intentions of ever leaving that job, but I started taking back my lunch hours. 
And I started going, well, instead of working through my lunch break, I'm going to work on my business during that time, or I'm going to read a book, or I'm going to do something that's going to put me in a position to retire early, which of course, as you guys know, um, I did. I mean, this is, this is all I do now. Me and my husband, this is all we do is we work the speech body business. So I, every single, where you spend your time and where you spend your money, that is going to truly show not necessarily where you want your priorities to be, but it's where you've placed them at this point in time. Okay. You know, and this, this I think has a lot to do with it. We have, we have created a skewed, um, sense of value and it, it's interesting because we just came off of um, our summit, a really big event. It was so, it was so amazing, but, um, every once a year, so hopefully you're there next year. Um, and one thing that the CEO got up there and said was like, we, you know, our, our skew of our value, our idea of a value of a meal has changed because we see a meal as being like, you know, maybe you go to one of these big chain restaurants and you get like a ton of food and it's, it's like a ton of food and you get that for, I don't know, $12. I just had lunch with my friend at BJ's restaurant and I spent $12 on pretty much lettuce and a couple toppings. I'm like, really? It was a 12 bucks. Anyways. Um, so it's a matter of like, how, how are we valuing the things too, that not only our time, but the things that we're putting in our body. And I think when people think of a, th of a shake, they're expecting that, you know, of course, you know, one of our top selling products is Shakeology. And when they think of a shake, they're thinking of the one that they can get at Target for 20 bucks. Well, that one that they could get at Target for 20 bucks, you might as well just, there, there's pretty much no nutritional value in something like that. They might be calling it a meal replacement drink, but it doesn't have that packed, dense nutrition. It's not the same. So it's like, how do we, how do we truly think of value? Even if you go through a drive-through and you purchase um, a whole fast food meal, it's gonna cost you like eight bucks. And that's why it blows my mind when somebody says that Shakeology is expensive. Now, I will say that I didn't always feel that way. I, when it first came out, I wasn't making that much money yet because I'd only been a coach for a couple months. And then Shakeology came out and everybody said, oh, you have to make sure that you are on this um, home direct. That means it's going to charge your account every single month. And I was like, <laughs> heart palpitations. I was fall reeking out because I wasn't really making money yet. And I thought, how can I add this as something that like, how can I add this to money that's going out? I already have so much money going out. I barely have any money coming in. And I'm think I was thinking about it all wrong. I had that skewed view. Number one, I wasn't considering the fact that instead of that $8 salad and iced tea that I was getting every single day from Jack in the Box, <laughs> instead of that, I'd be replacing it with a $4 shake that was way better for me, that was going to keep my cravings away and was going to decrease... Um, it was going to increase my mental capacity. It was going to make me feel better. It was going to um, just make me healthier all around. I wasn't, I, I wasn't looking at it from a value standpoint. I was only looking at it from a money standpoint and from a, this is how much it costs every single month standpoint. Now, if somebody had said to me, "Well, Holly, you're spending double that already on your on your lunch," if somebody had said that to me, then it, the light bulb would have gone off quicker, but I literally had to sit down and figure out how am I going to make this work because I don't have the money for this. And although I know it's gonna be a hit, like I knew it was gonna be a really big hit as far as you know, Beachbody goes. And so I said, I have to figure out how to make this work. And that's when I came up with the idea of replacing my lunch. I knew my lunch cost about eight bucks a day. And so if I were to um, replace that with my shake, which as a coach, it only costs you actually it's less than four bucks a day. That includes your business fees and everything. So that's really what it cost. Um, what it costs to be a coach on Shakeology is like $4 a day. And by the way, that covers your business fees, that covers your website, that covers your customer service that they do for you. It covers, um, you know, all of the stuff, all of the product updates, um, promotional videos, all the, all the stuff that we get from, from Beachbody, plus the millions of dollars that they spend every single year on advertising to make sure that your business is easier for you to promote. All of that stuff, that's covered in that $4 a day cost. And that still might sound scary to some of you, but I will, I will take you right back and I'll remind you, you're already spending it. It's just a matter of where do you see the value? You're already spending it. 
where do you see the value? Um, so I want to, <laughs> what I'd like for you to do is start to shift your mindset into long-term thinking. Because instead of thinking about <sighs> right now, this month, what I need you to be thinking of is all of or sorry, that wasn't very good English. Teachers out there, my apologies. But what I need you to think of are all of the things that you're going to be helping prevent as well as maybe there's even medications right now that you could potentially even come off of. Story after story after story, I've heard. I was spending $300 a month on my diabetes medication. I was spending $600 a month on my high blood sugar medication. I was spending this many hundreds of dollars every single month on this type of medication, that type of medication, vitamins. Um, I, I did a web, no, I did a live video a little while back about um, fitness instructors and why this is pretty much a no brainer for us. But the cool thing is like I was able to research all of the most recommended um, supplements out there and all of those combined. I mean, it was like, it was a, a huge list. Think about all of the money that you're already spending on vitamins and supplements that you don't even realize because it's just a little bit here, just a little bit there. But a lot of that stuff, you can stop. You, you may be able to stop. Now, I can't make claims, you know what I mean? Like Shakeology and all that stuff, all the disclaimers. Like we, 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 Beachbody has never said that they will diagnose or cure you or prevent any illnesses or diseases. However, I have heard countless story of lots of people who've come off of medications after being on Shakeology for a couple of months. And um, those are insane. Like I um, want a coach, a coach on my team she literally, the first time we sat down to talk, she's like, I don't think I can do this because I already spent $600 a month on my diabetes medication. I was like, oh, you need to go get your blood levels checked after, after the first month of being a coach. And she did. And you know what? She was able to drastically de decrease that, decrease that. I think eventually come off of that. So that investment in herself and her health and her, her well-being and the time and all that stuff, she was able to save all that money. And so I think we need to think about this in term, uh, terms of what am I going to prevent? What am I going to um, gain from this? How much am I going to save? Because you will be saving money. The biggest cost in, at least in the United States, is healthcare and insurance. And the reason that the cost keeps going up and up and up and up primarily is because it is from diseases that can be um, avoided completely or cured through proper nutrition, diet, exercise, the things that we teach, the things that we stand for as Beachbody coaches. So I stand so firm and so proud. Um, it does not bother me that a customer, for a customer it's gonna cost them $5 a day for Shakeology, and for me and all of us coaches it costs $4 a day for Shakeology, actually less than that for customers, but it's under that $5 mark after tax and shipping and all that stuff. Um, it doesn't bother me anymore to think about that because I know that I am making an investment in my health. I'm making an investment now in my kids because I'm gonna be around longer because mentally I'm gonna be around longer. Um, if you haven't yet, I want you to look up on YouTube, look up the Beachbody or Shakeology official YouTube channel and look up 100, 100 Doctors Don't Lie video. If you haven't seen it on this group or any other anywhere else, watch that. Doctor after doctor after doctor. Anyone for, from like brain doctors, psychologists, psychiatrists, and then of course cancer doctors and all these other different specialties, doctors that back Shakeology. So, but as you know, we're so much more than just Shakeology. It is our number one selling product. And what's really cool is it's not just number one selling because we have a lot of coaches that are drinking it. It's actually the number one selling product because we have more customers that drink it than coaches do. So that has a lot to be said for that too. And I always want you to know too that we we have 100% money back guarantee. So even the coach opportunity, everything we do is based on if you don't get results, you get your money back. If you don't get results, you get your money back. So that is, that's phenomenal that the company stands behind that. I want you to think about, you know, going back to that, that step one of like truly evaluating like where you're at in each one of those aspects of your life. Like where do you, what do you feel like with your, with your spiritual life, with your, um, with, with your health, with the time that you get to spend with your friends, 
the freedom, your freedom of choice, like all those different areas of your life that you feel are really important. And if you think that you rated yourself on a level of one to 10, if you rated yourself a seven or below on any of those areas, I want to challenge you in that because what do you really want to get out of your life? You're only going to get one life. And what I love about this, this business is that we really teach you to live the best life that you possibly can. Like, and we want to be positive. We want, we, we only want to be around positive people. So we want to help you on that journey, but the choice is yours and you're going to have to make that choice. What are you going to value? And are you going to value, oh, it's better. It's, it's okay. If I go get, you know, a shake that only costs 20 bucks, that's going to last me 30 days. If it's actually like kind of poisoning your body or do you value putting in good, awesome nutrition that's going to cost you $4 every day and pay for your business fees? It's to me, it's a no brainer because I want to be around here mentally, but I also want to be around here physically for my kids and maybe even my grandkids. I don't know. We'll see how long I live. I'm an older mom, <laughs> but I plan to, I plan to. And that's important to me. That's what's the most important to me. So, you know, we talked about like the cost of being a coach, but I will say this too. It, you don't even have, people think that you have to be on Shakeology in order to be a coach. You don't. We do have less exp expensive options. I will say this. You need to be doing something every single day that is part of this business. So maybe the one product that you love is recover. You're like, that is amazing. I don't get sore muscles. And that only costs me like two bucks a day, Holly. Then uh, that's more my jam. That's more my speed. Fine. What we're saying is you need to be doing something every single day. You need to be fueling your body with good nutrition. Okay. You need to figure that part out. I understand that finances can, can be tough. Everybody has faced that in, at one point or another, but here is my final thought, thought for you. Here's my final thought for you about that. If things are tough now, I want to ask you what your plan is in order to get out of that situation. What do you have set in place right now that will make it easier for you to spend $4 a day on your health, your wellness, your well-being, your mental well-being, your stamina, your cravings, your physical well-being, your family, your future. Getting healthy from the inside out. Like what do you have something in place that's going to get you to the point of yes, I can invest $4 a day in myself. Like I said before, it couldn't it doesn't even have to cost that. We we could you could do something else and still be quote, called a quote unquote active coach in which you'd be able to start getting commissions and stuff. But if you don't have anything concrete in place and, but I, what I mean is in place is like, what's your plan B? What if you don't have your job tomorrow? What if you get laid off? What if you don't have a retirement plan? Do you have college funds? I am not trying to stress you out. What I'm trying to do is say like, breathe a little truth and reality into your being because that was the truth and reality that got breathed into me when I realized, holy crap, I am going to have to work 70 hours a week for the next 10 to 15 years minimum in order to pay off all this debt and still like live, like to keep up. And I realized that that just was not something that I wanted to do. So this opportunity became my plan B. It's not because I was like, oh my gosh, I so want to work from home. I want so badly to um, do direct sales. Like that, that's not what it was. What, what it was, was it was that idea of the harder I work, the more money I make. And most companies out there aren't going to give you a $20,000 a year increase this year. And that's what the average um, person makes that has eight people on their team. The average is $20,000 a year. And when I heard that, I was like, shoot, I could be average. I'm, I'm going to try to be average. If I can make an extra $20,000 a year, like that will take care of so much of my stress. And it's going to give me some time freedom. And I'm going to feel more balanced. And I'm going to have better relationships because I'll actually get to see my friends and my family. And, and all these things, right? The, all those categories that I talked about in the beginning, it all started to make sense. That I will be able to improve every single area of my life if I just figure this out. If I just figure out how 
to do this business. And the cool thing is now you have so many people that can help you. Platinum Presenters is the strongest team in all of Beachbody. We are the strongest team. We have a lot of amazing mentors and the person who invited you into this group, we're here to help you because you know what? That $140 package or whatever, um, when you first come on board, that doesn't pay our bills. Do you know what does? It's if we can help you be successful. And I love, I love that we have such a low risk entry rate because that means that we have skin in the game. We, we have to be invested in your success. There are other mar network marketing companies out there. It's like, it's a huge investment to get in. And you know what happens once somebody signs you up? They're looking for the next person because that's where they get most of their, most of their money. So that's what I like about Beachbody. So I want to ask you like, what, what is your plan B? Maybe you have a great job right now. It's, it pays a lot of money. You've got a good X, Y, Z or your husband, you know, you got You got things good right now. What if, what if it's not there tomorrow? Even with powder blue productions, I had a great job. You know, you guys know my story. I had a great job. And, um, but what if I hadn't started this business? Then when Beachbody purchased Powder Blue Productions, I would have had to have moved two hours away to Santa Monica, um, which is not really two hours away, but in Orange County and LA traffic, it's two hours away. Like it's like another country. Do you know that they're trying to split California into three different states? Because that's how many people are here. <laughs> they're trying to split us up into three different states. It's crazy. But, um, so that's, I would have had to have gone there cause I wouldn't have had a choice. I wouldn't have had a choice of how much money I could make. I wouldn't have had a choice in any of those things, but because I had this business already and it was already established, it was already really going well. It was such an easy decision. So what is your plan B? And if you're not financially where you want to go, or maybe you're a teacher and every summer stresses you out. I'm thinking about this cause you know, everybody's on summer break right now. Every summer stresses you out and you're trying to think like, how am I going to get to the next to the next thing, you know, how am I gonna make it? You know, make everything stretch. Or maybe you have lots of student loan debt. What's the plan? Do you, I, I hope that you're not just like hoping it goes away because you know what happens is you're gonna pass that debt on to your kids, unfortunately. Like, what's the plan? So I'm not here to like point fingers or anything like that. I've always, I, I'm always, I want you to be the best you, the best version of you possible. And I'm assuming that you want to be the best version of you possible. Otherwise you wouldn't be part of a group like this. You're not trying to figure out how to make your life better, how to make more money, how to help people, because that's really legitimately the only way that you can make money is by legitimately helping people. Um, and it takes work. It does. It takes work, but you know what? It's not, it's, it's not difficult to figure out. It's very simple. It is a simple process. It's people helping people. And the more people you help, then you get financially rewarded. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this. And um, if you didn't notice somebody on here and you're like, oh, they need to watch this, then just tag them in a comment below. I'm off to see my kids. And thanks for your time, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.